everyone, my name is Gigi and I am from the Pikes Peak Library District and for today's Kid STEM project, I am going to show you how to make two different kinds of paper airplanes and then you get to test it at home um, and see which one actually flies the furthest. So the first airplane design that we're going to make is a classic one. It's called the Classic Dart. And then the second one that I'm going to show you how to make is called a speed glider. Um, so scientists and engineers, whenever they test things out, um, for example, like our question today is going to be which one of these planes fly the furthest? So. Um, as a scientist, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out each one of my planes three times, and then that will help me determine which one um, flies the best. So to do that and to record it, I have a notebook and a pencil, and I'm going to write it down. It's very simple. It looks just like that, and you can do the same thing. All right, well, let's get started with our project. For this project, you will need two sheets of paper for each of your airplanes. I have four here, just in case I make a mistake on my first one. You'll also need a variety of colors of, you can use crayons or markers, colored pencils or pens, but if you want to decorate your plane, you'll need those. And finally, so when you're ready to test your airplanes, you will want a notebook and a pencil so you can record all of your tests. For this first design, you're going to fold your paper hot dog style. Then you're going to lay your paper out in front of you portrait style. Then you're going to fold the corner, the top right corner into the crease, lining up the edges, and then you're going to do the same thing with the left side. Now you're going to fold that top right corner in again like this into the crease. Then you'll turn your, your airplane around and do the same thing with the other side. Now, you'll fold your plane inwards like this, making sure that your folds are on the inside of your plane. Make sure to give it extra good creases. Finally, you're going to fold back one side to the edge like this. And then flip your plane over and do the same thing to the other side. Make sure all of your creases are good and tight. And then open it up and your plane is ready to fly. For the speed guider plane, you're gonna start by folding your paper in half hot dog style. Make sure you line up the corners Next, you'll open it back up and lay it portrait style. Then you're going to fold the top right corner down to the center crease, creating a triangle. And then you will do the same thing with the left side. Next, 
you're going to fold the point of the plane down, creating a fold along the bottom of your triangle, like this. Your fold is right here along the bottom of that triangle. It kind of looks like an envelope. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold the top right corner to the center about one inch above the tip. Make sure your creases are nice and tight. Then you will do the same thing with the other side. Next, you're going to flip up this triangle like this. So see that little triangle right there? You're going to flip it up so it meets with all the other points. Like that. Then flip your plane over and you're going to fold it along that center crease like this. Make sure all of your creases are nice and tight. Finally, you're going to fold this edge down to the bottom edge of your plane like this. Flip your plane over and do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that all of your creases are nice and tight. Then open your plane and you are ready to fly. All right, so now that you have completed making your paper airplanes, find a nice large open space um, and go test your airplanes. And be sure to record all the results in your journal. I'm not going to tell you which one flies the best. You're going to have to determine that yourself. All right, so for future testing, if you want to make more paper airplanes or try out some more different or some more styles, um, check out books from the library. We have several um, paper airplane books with different designs in them. Well, I hope you guys had a great time and we'll see you again. Bye.